Um, do, 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 yeah, can I ask about my bowlers if I can possibly get any? Ask about what? You know, I said that I was asking for non-lethal weaponry. Um, he points at the coin pouch. There you oh. go. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up a brick on your way out. <laughs> Ash him on the head with the rock, pretty much. So. All right. I've never understood the point of non-lethal weaponry. That's why you carry a Alaska. <laughs> and the last pistol. And a pump-action shotgun. Yep. And an axe and three knives. Yep. Only three. That's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. All right, uh, now you said that um, there were lists of addresses. <laughs> what were those addresses actually for? Um, let's see. Did it? Basically, members of Arbast. What is Arbast? Isn't Arbast the family? You know, this guy and his sister? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the dead guy and his sister. That's ah. the Arbast. So you can investigate his apartment or go to his sister, I assume. Let's go, uh, let's start with his apartment, which theoretically might be still unoccupied, but given the nature of Hive cities, has probably already probably. rented out to a new possessor. If, if he's been missing for 60 days, there's definitely someone else living there no, now. He hasn't been missing for 60 days. He was fired 60 days ago. I'm oh, sorry. He's been missing for 32 days. My bad. <coughs> then again, right, it's a hive city, so it's possible nobody actually knows he's missing. Either True. way, we should start with that. All right. You guys go ahead and you hop on the tram. Well, by rail car. The journey to Corscala takes several hours. During the time, you guys have no chance to do anything but uh, talk. You I, guys want to talk? I, talk I, among I'm each not, other? I'm not going to talk to them, but I am going to work on modifying my Vox to uh, increase its efficiency. All right, roll a, let's see, int check, and since you're a tech priest, take oh a my. plus 20. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you break it. You failed to set up what you were doing, but luckily you don't cause any damage. Excellent. I would like for to try again. To learn more about my teammates All right. in an attempt to create a cohesiveness of the unit. Start talking. I just tried to catch up and so, walk. Everybody... Mm. Sorry. Mercutio talk, uh, asked you guys a question. I Sorry, I didn't hear. I was asking you where everyone's from and you know, basically attempting to create some sort of cohesiveness in this ragtag unit of ours. The Feral Worlds. I was void born in the Space oh. Hulk Agamemnon. So was I. We were on the same ship. Interesting. So are you two friends? Did you know each other at all? We knew yes. each other, but it wasn't until after <laughs> the uh, catastrophic event that caused us to leave the ship that we mm. really got to know each, other, know each other oh my we were too young to I, actually I know uh, we don't really want to talk about the catastrophic event yeah we were too young no. to actually know what we happened we don't know you well enough hmm. I'm sorry you must gain more diplomacy points with our faction <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> I just go, hi. <laughs> okay. I'm just like, hi. Sorry. Hello. So, Kaltos, you said you were from a feral world. What type of feral world did you come from? Jungle. Hmm. <laughs> that must have been hard. Wait, aren't yep. you two both guardsmen from the same regiment? It doesn't mean they it talk. The same place. It doesn't mean we ever actually met each other. But I... There's okay. thousands upon hundreds of thousands of the North Guardsmen within a regiment, if not millions. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. Don't underestimate the Guardsmen, bitch. <laughs> Eyebrow raising. Raising. Hmm? Any other talking? You guys just gonna sit there in silence? Go. <laughs> I hate these people. <laughs> I just ask everyone else their background. 
as I was asked my background. All right, who wants to answer the question first, mm. if anyone? I look for alcohol. <laughs> you're on a tr you're on a rail car. There is no, no alcohol to be found. Uh, I was. He has to. We can Jack. find some. I'm Mercutio, <laughs> born on a very harsh, frozen world. Quite cold. You had to kill and eat pretty much anything you found there, because there was no vegetables at all. The entire planet was predators. So would you say it was as cold as ice, and you were willing to sacrifice? <laughs> I cannot understand how this song has survived 40,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's enough forcing around. What do you guys want to do for this mission when we get there? What's the plan? The plan Cheer is to bro. examine the situation, locate anything that may be hidden, and seek evidence of collusion. My plan is to first leave this room. That was extremely vague and unhelpful. My plan We're personally is to first leave this room. Walls. I'm gonna wait for the thinky people to find out stuff and then shoot the bad guys. Mm. That's I'm a just... admirable plan, but not helpful at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should kind of leave I, this room just... with the glass walls. Just, just thought it'd say we'd start walking away now. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually we're get out of the room. <laughs> we're, we're on a large tram car now. That's not Varn, that's just a servitor that looks like him. Um... <laughs> uh, Yes. How long before I can attempt to modify the box caster again? Mm, ah, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, whoa. Since how badly you failed, I'm gonna say not that. Five years. <laughs> Where are we? We have to be added to the map. <coughs> Actually. <coughs> Cough. That's all I hear. I'm sorry. Uh, alone in a single car, it is now deserted, but for your group. The rattling carriage breaks into another vast and dilapidated Habavolt. Habavolt. Interesting. <sighs> okay. Where are we? We are on the transit railroad, I assume. So we will be right Indeed. there. Indeed. All right. Uh, Templus Alms Home. Um, now, if we remember correctly, the addresses said that the deceased and his sister both lived in the same Habstack, correct? Indeed. It was Habstack 717, was it not? Hmm. Then I propose that we split into two groups. One group goes to his residence, the other goes to the sister's. I call going to his. I call the sisters. I call the sisters. You would. Have we any leads <laughs> of where this. Um... I, think, I think since there's ah. two guardsmen, they should split up with one guard. Yes, that actually makes surprisingly a lot of sense. And. Yes. Group. So, Kaltos, which group do you want to yeah. go with? So, Kaltos, uh... which group do you want to go with? Left group. That's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> We the left grip! He's going to the sisters. Yeah. Okay, so Mercutio is going to the dead guys. Yep. Okay, I guess I'll we go over the dead guys as well, because I think I've got quite high perception. Yes. That uh, would be Scythia? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to the sisters. Um, now, since I've modified Actually, my aspects, the function, <laughs> the function <laughs> is a more accurate version of the biosample aspects, yes? I'm sorry, repeat that? I have modified my aspects to function as a more accurate version of the bio, bio kit aspects, yes? Yes. All right, so I'm going to give the 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 bio sample aspects to the not guardsmen and the other group and show them how to use it. <laughs> wow, All right, some uh, places are going on here. Do I get an increased perception for that because... Who are you giving it to? I don't know who else is in the group besides the guardsmen. Who's going I'm, to the sisters? I'm going to the sisters, I'll I guess. Okay, stop saying the word I and say the name. Scythia. <laughs> Scythia is I'm going the opposite way from Tiber. Or Tiberianus. Okay. So Scythia, Varn, and... Um, 
Kalthos. Kalthos are going to the sisters. Or Kyushia are going to the dead guys. Okay, I'll and give Kaltos. Varn. Uh, I will give. I will give Varn the uh, the aspects since he knows how to use technology in theory. Okay. And 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 Varn is going to the sisters because he he's the one who talks to people, correct? Yes. That's yes. Theory. That is exactly <laughs> logical, yes. and we're going to stick with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and because I'm showing Varn how to use it, I don't have to, he doesn't have to pass any tests. Right. Yeah. yeah he'll, uh, he'll get a. He, he won't get a penalty when he tries to use it. Excellent. Onwards. That to leaves the dead man. Kichio, Tiberianus, and Varnaeus that are going to the dead guys. Varnaeus. Yep. yep. Okay. So an assassin, All right. and a tech priest walk into a dead man's house. <laughs> <laughs> the question becomes, is he dead, or does he just not know it yet? <laughs> I think you should be a bit more subtle than that and just have, like, one person go to the door. <laughs> He's kind of small and frail looking. He's going to have bodyguards. <laughs> A bureaucrat but, in a rundown like, half hey. sector, he's going to have bodyguards. No, come on, if you're going to look like a uh, thingy, a citizen, then you might as well try and just go alone. Because I don't think the citizens can have bodyguards running around them all the time. Would you go anywhere alone in Detroit? Well, probably not, but still. <laughs> <laughs> An Imperial Guardsman's a bit more than just a bodyguard. <laughs> yeah, but they're also everywhere. <laughs> You guys are all disguised, remember? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. We're all dressed as. Don't go in like a group of three going high there. You know, going just have a fail. You're just a group of three hive workers. Mm -hmm. oh all right, let's uh, let us proceed. The dead man's house is in Habstack 717. Yes. Actually, can I first? Yes. Can we actually go to the um, enforcer station and try and requisition? Uh, our uh, enforcer uniform. Well, so we can actually go. He doesn't know that you're there, so you would have to steal it. We're also ah. supposed to avoid okay, the local right. enforcer authorities. Steal requisition. Derp, derp. <laughs> no, I, I think the place you meant was trade markets for non lethal weaponry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we drop by the trade Onwards markets? Let's go to the trade market then. Let's go find some <laughs> non lethal weaponry. weaponry. <laughs> Uh, sure, let's go to the trademarks. Yeah, why not? Okay, mm -hmm. hey, before you guys try to wall up a train car, the rail car shudders to a stop, and the doors open onto a wide race platform devoid of any passengers except for a single huddled figure dressed in rags. The figure quickly bundles themselves on board, flashing a pass to the door mechanism with unseemly haste, and takes up a seat far from you as, as far from your group as possible. A moment later, a dull crackling server turned down. Koskarla, Southern Railhead. Passengers to Koskarla to disembark. The conveyance will depart in. I would like to roll a perception test for the uh, person who just ran on board. Yeah, same Did here. they bump into us and steal our money? Can I roll an awareness check? I'm trying the perception as well right now. <laughs> he runs on board, and we all just stare at him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I notice anything odd about the passenger? I was trying to do it subtly. Nothing odd you can notice right off the bat. To you, he just looks like a simple bum. Damn, even with a roll of six. I want to run a perception test as well. So he might just be a simple bum. Let us carry on. <laughs> Very well. I disembark the train. <laughs> scum, not. Okay. <laughs> Our DM is already okay. frustrated with us. <laughs> <laughs> Have we derailed your story too much yet? <laughs> oh, it could be so much what? Worse. Never mind. Uh. Uh, to the market. <laughs> to the market, Jeeves. Oh, uh, is okay. that a statue of the Emperor I see? Yes. All right, genuflect, etc. Et local thing. Pay heed to the Emperor. As you guys step into the area, it's dirty, it's run down. There's servitors attempting to clean, but to no avail. In oh, fact, the servitors over, sure. themselves are quite filthy, and it's amazing they're still even running. People walk around and... Fix one of those servitors. 
I the server have... brushes you aside and just goes about his work. I'm oh, fine. <laughs> Please. People walk around in in cloaks. You can barely see their faces. In fact, most of them don't even seem like they want to acknowledge anyone else exists. For them, down here, it is a horrible life. But it is the only one they know. Hmm. So we okay, try. so you guys want to head to the trade market now, yes? Yes. Yeah. Let us keep a watchful yep. eye for those who might be a threat. Without looking like we're watching for people who might be a threat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're the threat. You're the one who wants to go shopping. I know. No, I'm not. Go ahead and say it out loud. Act, act in character. You don't have to type it out. I think he was being out of character. No, no I, I, I type for being in character most of the time. <laughs> like when I'm saying things like either under my breath or... Oh. Hmm. Perused booths looking for a non-lethal weapon such as a club or a nightstick or something of that nature. What's wrong Both a club and a bola. I was gonna try and think. Ooh. The fact that I'm the can, instead. Can I use my elect twos to uh, as a taser? I don't see why not. <laughs> Excellent. What are you? Uh, uh, depend. It since it's based on your bioenergy output. I don't know how well that would work. <laughs> okay. Um. After a bit of walking, you guys come to a market. In fact, it doesn't seem like there's much here. There's some sundries. Not much in terms of weapons, other than the crudest of gear. I don't there's think one shop that sells bullets, but uh, a quick inspection of the bullets reveals that they are quite useless, except a handful of them. Hmm. You also notice, though, however, these bullets are marked up at quite a significant cost. Huh. Of course they are. They're a rarity. Can I try and have a look around for bolas? Then find out the price of them? Bolas? Yeah. Uh, let's see. You look around for bolas, which, mind you, is just basically two weights attached to a rope. You can probably make one. Yeah, I know. But... And you find a shop that is appear sells basic hunting gear for whatever reason. You don't know why anyone would bother hunting on a hive, except maybe to go down into the depths and kill any scum they may find. Food. Food, <laughs> yes, food. And you don't really notice much in terms of bolas, because those down here tend to kill their targets rather than capture. Mm -hmm. After a quick inspection of all the market stalls, you come to the conclusion, if you want to capture someone, you're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Bash yeah. over the head with a rock. Okay. All right. Almost if to our side of the <laughs> <laughs> How about you just look at the nearby building and see if there's any stones you can pull off? I've got a better yeah. idea. We're, let's just head on to the hab stack. I have got a staff, so I could probably beat him over the head with that. I do have a staff. Oh my. You had a blunt weapon the entire time. It's not really a blunt weapon, and I was more looking for one that was ranged. You noticed, as you guys notice, uh, in the in the trade markets, you hear there's more people around, bustling, pushing about, ah, not really bringing any attention to themselves. However, you think that they're locals. Maybe they know something. Can Wait I? Tr Who was looking for ranged weapon? Uh, for I wasn't looking for a ranged weapon, but a ranged uh, non-lethal weapon. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right, what was that roll for, Tiber? Uh, it was going to be a perception check for anyone, uh, just like checking my aspects, seeing if there was anyone around who was. Well, hopefully, uh, most of your aspects are covered by the cloak. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's even obvious that you're even modified would be that on your head. Can I try and perceive if there's any black but... mark at all for like um? Go ahead. Modifications. Well, um, that wouldn't be a perception test. That would be a uh, lore test, hive test. Ah, I don't Do you know anything have... about the hive? No, I don't have any lore for the hive. Then take a minus 30 to your uh, intelligence test. Minus 30. Wow. Mm. 
You know nothing, John Skeen. <laughs> Did you just say you know nothing, John Snow? I tr I try and have a look you know around and just have an aneurysm instead. <laughs> I fix his aneurysm with a blow to the back of his head of non-lethal damage. Let's just sit, let's get on to our assigned task. Yeah, let's go. Okay. For Black Market and for I'm very honest. Honest, as you look around, you notice a couple of thugs, but they don't seem out of place. They just seem like uh, people going around collecting collection money. Thugs always know something. I wish to shake them down for information. How about we okay. let the diplomat to approach them first with a group of large, dangerous looking individuals behind him? <laughs> it's still Fine, the a smart way. Barn, talk to the thugs. Hey. Use Charles. Right. <laughs> Alright. As you approach one of the thugs, you notice his eye is missing and has been actually stitched close. Or, well, but there's an eye patch covering it. Ooh. He's. Then how do we know it's stitched close? Eh, who cares? You, you notice the <laughs> stitches out of the corner of the eye patch, screw off. <laughs> I guess that's I'm just gonna do a quick perception check to see if I can tell how recent they are. Well, uh, uh, the wounds appear quite old, as in several years old. Not related, then. Okay. Anyways. This is awesome, because I rolled a six. He's muscular. He's kind of squat, though. He kind of looks out of place next to his friend, who's a bit tall on the lankier side. Uh, why don't you go all over ahead and roll perception test for me? Another one? Oh, that was a called perception test on something. Yeah, that's true. Twenty nine. All right, um, Kaltos, what's your perception? <laughs> um, I'm looking at my shoes. Perception. Pretty sure it's not forty. Twenty eight. <laughs> All right, Kaltos, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Scythia, you notice. <laughs> hey, the sky. I can't see it down here. <laughs> <laughs> How about the, the what about the two? Oh, it's just like home. Perception? Basically, I'm just like right, oh, the it's like home. Pass. <laughs> you notice a small snub revolver underneath this guy's cloak. I discreetly okay. ready my last pistol under no, my cloak. No, no, that that would be an agility check to avoid notice. Yes, it would. Oh, Mind you, you're trying to shake him down for information. Not and not only that. Down. Not only that, you don't actually know about it yet. I noticed. Yeah, but and, I don't yeah, care. Uh, your care uh, Mercutio knows. He oh, saw sorry. the pistol. Yeah, I saw the pistol. I didn't. All right. I did not. I did as well. I was too busy looking at the and roof. It... <laughs> Tiberianus passed, Barn passed, and I passed. So the Barnes intelligent, the, the useful check. people. Yes. I don't need <laughs> any side checks. Oh. Varnius didn't even make a check for perception. I'm checking. Oh, oh, oh. oh. He knew not to oh. bother. Oh. <laughs> you are the most. He just doesn't like to be put in the warehouse anymore. <laughs> Alongside Cynthia, Varnius, you know, uh, you notice that hey, there's a rat in the corner humping another rat. <laughs> <laughs> Considering I'm here to explore new worlds. Um... And this was like <laughs> you explore the world of rats. Classy. <laughs> just, just classy. Uh, moving on then. Okay, so I suppose I better approach these guys and try and strike up some conversation. <laughs> yep. Try to be. Which one do you approach? I'm not helping. Call, do you approach the tall, lanky one who's pretty much covered, completely covered by his cloak, or do you approach the one missing an eye? Um, I'll approach the one missing an eye. Are you going from the side he can see from, or the side he can't? <laughs> um. I'll, I'll approach him where he can see me. Uh, I take, uh, I go towards to him because obviously he's um, not as threatening as the other one because he lost an eye. So, <laughs> you know, he can't be back in combat. But the other one's still got both his eyes, so you know he he probably knows how to keep himself out of trouble. So he oh, may actually right. be the leader of that. Guys... Sorry. As you guys, as uh, Varn and company approach. You notice the man reach for his gun, but it's quite obvious what he's doing. 
I mean, he just had a bunch of people walk up to him. Of course, he's going to do something. <laughs> yeah, he's readying himself for defense. I... Sensible. I like him already. I tell him um, oh, not to do that. Uh, uh, we just want to talk. Roll he the check slowly and... lowers his hand off his gun, but he still appears tense. He's like, what do you want? Oh, What's your yeah. fellowship score? Um, 20. <laughs> also, what are you asking? I don't know, I stopped to roll, so I did. I, I, you have to ask a question and then roll, so I, I'm just gonna, what are you asking? Okay, um. I don't know direction. <laughs> okay, yeah, um. I'll ask don't forget you can... you're inspecting, uh, Saul and Lily. Who? Lily is a sister, Saul is the dead man. Ah, right. I'll ask him if he can direct us to um, where the dead man is. Living at the past, he did. Yeah, where, the, the person who was previously alive, but is now known to us to be dead. But not known to him. Because then I can see if he's trustworthy or not. He's a guy with a okay, gun shaking uh, people down. You yeah, mind role playing so. that out? I mean, you, you mind actually saying what you would say, be in character? Um, okay. Um, like, how would your character actually phrase this? Because I, I, I think I, that was pretty accurate to how he would phrase it. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably pretty accurate. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what's the name of the guy? Where, where did this dead guy Soul. Soul. live? No, um, no, Soul's no, a dead guy. Dead. We're not okay. telling him he's dead. Um, Lily is a sister. Know him. And he probably doesn't know that he's dead if he does know him. So, I'll be pushing this. Hi there, um, sorry to interrupt, I know you're a bit busy today, but, um, do you know where we could find a man called Saul? Last name. Last name. Saul. There's plenty of Sauls around here. In fact, I could direct um, you to a good lawyer named Saul. There's lawyers on high worlds? <laughs> where else is the evil going to come from? <laughs> you need, uh, our best is last name, by <laughs> Fans. What's the one of our guys? What? You just Vanya's well his... a little. Vanya's is his last name? What our you... best. What's... Saul Arbest. Our our right. <laughs> God, I'm terrible at this. Yushio <clears throat> puts his head in his hand and shakes his head in dismay. <laughs> yeah, considering you rolled a 33 on your fellowship test and your fellowship is. what again? 20. <laughs> <laughs> Why does our negotiator have the lowest fellowships? Okay, everybody, what are what is what are your fellowship scores? Twenty six, Percy. Um, twenty eight. Okay, I've got thirty one wow. fellowship. Does anyone have higher than thirty one? No. no. Why is he our diplomat? <laughs> <laughs> he has the ability to charm, but he doesn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have any bonuses? do you have any yes. bonuses that would apply to this? Cute voice plus five to all <laughs> checks. Does not apply. Um, I meant um, like any skills that would apply the, to this. Apparently, he has the skill charm. I have the Speak skill charm. Language. Okay. Do you know what charm does off the top of your head, or do I have to look it up? Uh, you'll have to look it up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up then. Is that a talent or a skill? That's a good question. Is it skill. talent or a skill? It's a skill. Charm. Well, based on fellowship, the charm skill is used to befriend others. You make charm test whenever you want to change the minds of individuals or small groups to beg or to seduce. You need not make a charm test every time you talk to an NPC. Only when you want to change their opinion of you or convince them to do something for you, such as giving you a tip, a dance, or a kiss. A charm test can affect the number of targets equal to your fellowship bonus, and the targets must be able to see and hear you and understand what you do. Huh. It doesn't apply to this because you're not trying to change his mind. Well, we're trying to change his mind into giving us a chance to get him to do something. We just have to ask him the right questions. Yeah. 
No, we have to ask, wait for him to refuse, and then charm him into changing his mind. See, exactly. he's now Why don't we actually ask? Yes, officer, that is the right question. Uh, why don't Pardon we actually? Me, why don't we actually ask about? Out. Sorry, What's but why don't we actually ask about watch. augmentations, like black market augmentations? Why are you asking about black market augmentations? I... You really you want a blunt <laughs> weapon, don't you? No, it's just <laughs> <laughs> augmentations, not <laughs> armaments. Augmentations, not armaments. Uh, I will do it. <laughs> before Space Monkey goes to ask that question, sorry, before Sivia goes to ask that question, he remembers. Don't do anything that would destroy your leads. Oh. Okay. Uh, what's... Wh who are we searching for again? I can't remember names worth a darn. So, this is Saul, Saul Arvest, 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 and Lily Arvest. Arvest. Yes. yes. Alright. Uh, Arvest. pardon me, but we are trying to track down an old acquaintance of ours by the name of Saul Arbest. We were told that this is the right area, but we've gotten a trifle lost. Go ahead and, uh, roll... A fellowship test? Ha! 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 Oh. Oh, that's a fail. <laughs> oh my goodness. Should we play it until that? <laughs> you just shoot you. Should we play you. it with reversing the reverse numbers? Because we get a lot of... Shishu walks up to the tall, skinny one and asks him if he knows anything about Lily Arbest and where to find her. I... Uh. I think we need to resolve what happens because I've rolled a 95. Essentially, what comes out of your mouth is nothing but pure dribble. <laughs> Literally vomit. Uh, uh, or we can just You're say stunned. that my podcaster... Uh, I'm very honest was stunned by this man's beauty. That's what happens. <laughs> my podcaster malfunction. <laughs> can you I use an... It's a question. You, Sorry. you stumble over your words and basically manage to get nowhere. The man spits to the side, his spit black in color. Not that that matters. He must be chewing something. And he basically ignores you. Wonderful. So much for my attempt to be awesome and move the quest along. May I ask the tall skinny one about Lily Arbest now? Can I first ask, um, uh, with, can I try an intelligence test to see what he actually was trying to say? Fail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> can I or can I not? It, it was incoherent. Okay. It was completely incoherent. I'm starting to think we should reverse the reversed uh, no. numbers and go for higher is better. <laughs> no. I fail. We just uh, fail. Let's try and ask the same question, <laughs> the short one. The thugs are. <laughs> <I'm always fail>. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you trying to do, Kel? You start speaking to a local cat. <laughs> <laughs> he had a mini stroke. <laughs> this man. You unintentionally insult his mother. Yes, you unintentionally insult his and his mother somehow. <laughs> let's just keep going. Let's, let's just keep uh, going. That's what, why we're rolling checks to. I vote that we should leave this. And ask him questions. You see him put his hand back on his gun. <laughs> and he's like, maybe you guys should leave. Yeah. I suggest we should leave. This is this is a lot of good attempts ruined by horrible rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? This is mind you, there are other people. Let's walk away from the thugs. Let's just know. let's just people. get going. You guys were in a market and I think market people hear stuff. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. We tried, it went badly. I mean, like, market stall owners and such. Yeah, vendors. I, maybe, the, maybe the Sundry's vendor knows something. Okay, we'll go talk to the bad okay, food we'll seller. Bad. Okay. Mm, oh, delicious oh, okay. You approach the cart that sells all these rations. You notice that most of them are corpse starch. Lovely. Delicious corpse starch. It's soil and green, you fool. I'm aware also, of that. Also, to be less conspicuous, can we just send one person? Yes, yes, one you can. One person to every stall. Mm hmm. <laughs> Everyone roll. All right. Them. Who approaches what stall? I will attempt to approach the racket <laughs> vendor. I'll try a cleaning. I've subtly uh, suggested to be asked of stuff. I'll try approaching the. the uh, I would so like to try approaching. Um, 
like a clothing merchant. So I can ask the person's size, you know, if there's a tailor or something like that nearby. What? Is there a tailor nearby, basically? Stand that's... Hmm? It's not really... I think it just basically sells stitched together rags, second-hand clothes. Ah, okay. Nothing to accept. What are we even trying to find out here? I, I don't know. I don't we're know, trying to find out if anybody for... knows anything that we might uh, uh, subconsciously reveal about what the hell we're doing. Yeah, or actually correlate to what the guy's background, I believe. Seeing as we know where we have to go, I'll just go there and see what happens. I was trying to say that, and then we were uh, very subtly told that someone around here might have information we need. Yeah, but uh, Tyler, do you want to go you first? You don't have to follow my advice. When you go a hand to hand, it's usually strongly advised to listen to the DM. <laughs> <laughs> you know this person has uh, some right. modified body parts, so who would know big. about that? Ooh, that's... Right, go, everyone go ahead and roll an awareness test at plus 10. I fail. I pass. <laughs> I'm aware of nothing. I just I'm managed to see it. I can actually see like, something. I think they're four right. Duh. Are, okay. Whoever was coughing, are you going to live? If not, can I have your body parts so that I can sell them on the black market? <laughs> he's still coughing. That means he's alive. <laughs> Car toast! <laughs> <laughs> Are you choking? Are you okay? <clears throat> you Do we need to drive someone over now there and nine. perform a highway? I'm in Canada. I'm not driving anywhere. It's cold. <coughs> Anyways, back to the clothing to the um, to the ration vendor. Anyways, to those who pass their awareness test, you'll notice there are only two ways. Out of the course follow division, the intermittent transit rail service in which you arrived, and a single exit to the Hives Arteria network, through which heavy goods, vehicles, and other few battered-looking quad wheelers pass through. Okay. I notice nothing. Can I look around to see okay. if there's any cameras of some kind? Maybe we can get a tech to hack into them, so we can review the pa what happened. Yeah. Okay. Perception. With their awareness bonus. Man, <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, whoa! <laughs> I use awareness to check for any shady. Can I use actually? Can I use an intelligence okay. test to actually see if my character worked that out to then give the information to someone else to see or look around? Uh, this is not going well. <laughs> oh. There's too many coins. so well. <laughs> you know, May I mention that you guys suck at being an Inquisition? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying. It's not my fault. The dice refuse to problem. allow me to be epic. Can we I'm buy a sniffer dog? <laughs> oh. We obviously can't see shit. <laughs> Mercia. Mercia. What was his name? I can't. Mer Mercia. Go and threaten someone with laser rifles. Should be far more effective. Um, I don't think we want to get Draw that the much attention. local enforcers on our tail, do we? No. Waiting, no. waiting around las guns is is not low profile. Shotguns. And everyone in the city is probably armed. Yeah, we're we're not ready to have a last stand quite yet. So uh, how about I approach? I'm not dying five feet into this freaking mission. <laughs> I just don't know if know anything of note is worth discussing, or even bothering to try and speak it. Uh, it is! As you, ask, as you ask around the local populace about Saul, they turn around and basically say, well, he worked well. He, ha he had a temperament, though, and it seemed to be getting worse. Uh, probably about as... Yeah, with his increasing hardship. I saw him mounting off and drinking for he... No, he didn't. I didn't get any of that. 
Yep, you can't. Can't hurt. I just realized there's music. Did you? Yeah. Same. You rolled too high in your perception test. I rolled. Mm -hmm. I rolled a twenty-eight <laughs> this time. So pretty much everyone has the same story. All right. Uh, you asking about Saul or Lily? Saul. Most mostly. Worker. Uh, or becoming more of a bastard lately. Mm. I haven't seen him for about 20 days. I ain't seen him for a couple of weeks now. Been more than a fortnight for sure. Do you, do we know where Lily stays? We we know their addresses, yes. Okay. The the only reason we aren't already there is because we are we are uh, shuffling about for information. <laughs> we don't know what you we're ask any other questions? probably here. I'm... no. I'm what? <laughs> Who's got uh, a higher perception last time I asked a question, we almost got assaulted. I got... I have a 24 perception. I'm not very observant. Ah. Do you think mine is like 26 or something? Or... no, 28. I've got 37 perception. Okay, can I suggest to you that we... that you look for cameras? To then tell the tech priest about them? At the two exits? Me? Yeah. Sure. I look yeah, at character. Uh, Vaughn takes a uh, look around the area, down like alleyways and just in the general vicinity, looks for any sort of signs of right, monitoring, fine. surveillance. So is there any? Is that enough? I don't know. No, I'm just waiting for Jerry. I think he may have had an aneurysm of how badly we're doing. It's mostly the roll's no, fault. No, no, no. We we come up with a great plan and then the roll's <laughs> basically screw us over and then we're at a loss for what to do next. Yeah. Except I'm the opposite Dude, around. I get great rolls, but I just can't do anything with them. <laughs> you notice they throw guilt on the ground. You go to pick it up, and upon picking up, the piano falls on your head. What? Really? No. What? No. I'm pretty sure at this point, mm. if I put my last pistol on my own head and pulled the trigger, I'd roll a 100 and the gun would just not go off. The gun, would, the gun would, uh, would dissolve into the warp. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we're, obviously, we're obviously inept at uh, trolling, at uh, polling the crowd. So how about we just move on to our pre-assigned destinations? Oh, appearing. Is that actually? Uh, what do you call it? Did that succeed for Varn? Hmm. Um. Did He's Varn notice for... anything? He looked for cameras. I I did say. I guess you guys didn't hear me. You notice a few cameras scattered about, they're battered, some of them don't even appear to be functioning, and they're probably most likely placed there by the local enforcers. Not functioning cameras, I must attempt to repair one. <laughs> now you fix fixed everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we try and get um, Tiberianus to try and look through the records? In the past I, of I, the recording? Yeah, basically hack well. into it. It, it didn't work very well. Ah, okay. Uh, upon further inspection of the camera, you notice that they have no local storage and are in fact wired somewhere else. Ah, ah. can we follow the wires? <laughs> Another perception <laughs> test. <laughs> it's the forty-first century. It's probably wireless. <laughs> yeah, I know. I fail anyway. You know, power from some. Anyway, the wire leads into a wall. That's all you can tell. Well, let's just. First Get on with it then, because ever. actually, yeah, let's let's just try it. Just for the hell of it, let's attempt to access it remotely, utilizing my keen years of training as a tech priest of the Omnisaya. Okay. I fail. Well, Moving well. on. Let's go to the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't wait till I update oh my God, we're never gonna get anywhere in this, are we? Uh, upon nope. doing this the camera, you notice a uh, red light on top just blink on. Does that mean because I'll I was can I try camera and... that doesn't work? Can I try an intelligence test right. to determine what that means? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm I'm already gone. I'm walking away. <laughs> 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 I'm like, ooh, shiny! 
Scythia, your joint. thoughts are something along the lines of, ooh, pretty, must <laughs> go towards light. No, I mean it. I'm already on my way to the brother's house. Let's go. I, I grab sleep, but you I'll, failed I'll, enough I'll, in this area. We have failed enough in this area. Let us proceed to our original destination. Unless there's a bar. Where's the bar no. that like that? No, stop it. Right now. All right. Um, where you guys want to go is here. Number eight, if you're heading for the brother's house. Yes. So we're going to pass by the workers' union? The workers' union. You heard something about them saying Saul was last seen drinking there. Oh, the workers' union is the bar. Yelling at people. Well, it's on the way. Let's go fail some more in there. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm gonna pass off control of Mercutio to Matt. I got places I gotta go. Hmm, okay. Okay. Excellent! Now the DM will be controlling a character we might actually do something. <laughs> <laughs> Mercutio just became your greatest asset. Use him wisely. <laughs> uh, in fact, Mercutio is going to uh, fall down the stairs and break his neck. Yeah, I don't know. Here's the so tr tricky part. There were no stairs. And he has no neck. <laughs> uh, what neck? Uh, do you guys want to go ahead and just pause this? Let the dice, dig digital uh, dice, have a rest. Hopefully, when you come back to them in about say three minutes' time, they work better. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Oh, hello, Cup Cup. Like, um, Daisy Froster. I'm actually, going to. This is the. Uh, this is rolled20.net. Have you stopped streaming? No, I don't really no. know. I suppose I should. Back at some point, all you people who are not watching. Mm, I'm trying to think. Can you actually pause an event without stopping it? Oh, cool. Yeah, you can. Anyway. You can uh, when you disconnect, you can stop stream. Uh, I do not want to stop the broadcast. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh. <laughs> So, we'll oh, be back in a second. Folks. I'm uh -huh. We'll be right back! I'm gonna go check, grab a drink. Um, are you sure you want to spell this? I'm gonna Google whether or not... Let's see, rolled20.net Less... Shitty um... Dice rolls. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how to pause it. You know what, brother? Um, no, like, whatever you're using, what are you using to broadcast? Oh, right, yeah, open broadcaster, so stop streaming in that, cool. Yeah. That. Let me know when you guys are all ready to continue. Well, I'm ready. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Well, I'm going to the bar first. Tiber? Hold on, I'm just, just waiting for my uh, broadcast to be live again. It needs to be up to do into two groups. Mm -hmm. Five people watching. Is are all of those people in the call, or are they actually not your viewers? I'm not watching, so. <laughs> no. Well, I think Paul is one other person. Hmm? Do 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 do. You know. Well, it says it's broadcasting. Oh. All right, bum ba da bum. Let's go get on with it. Get on with it. Bum ba da bum bum. All right, you guys were last on your way to the stack number, and you guys have said to stop in by the workers' union on your way there, yes? Yep. Yep, mm -hmm. in the bar. All right. The workers' union hall is a bar and venue provided by the Tantalus Combine. You remember this from the data slate you were given about the area. Uh, let's see. The establishment has suffered greatly under its current sponsor, the Civilian Narco, Narco Gang Syndicate. Vandalized, brutalized, and bullet-ridden, the bar is not a welcoming place for the acolytes. Filled with nervous gang blades, morose drinkers, and smashed-up addicts, the only regular clientele are the gang boss Chord. <laughs> hmm. So you're in the bar. Can we try and proceed okay. for shady characters? Well, actually, never mind, but it's in a bar full of shady characters. Why am I even bother asking? <laughs> <laughs> Can I try and meet the no, shadies of characters here? 
okay. Can I roll awareness for any armed combatants in the bar? I too shall make this check. I made the test. What are you guys testing? We are determining it's whether or not how many of these people are armed and probably dangerous. Let's see, perception test and crowded bar. Let's take that at minus ten. And you I still use see that at minus ten. I've got an awareness uh, stat. Can I use Wait, intelligence? A skill. Oh, Can I... It's based on your perception. Sorry. Yeah, with plus five. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't. And I'm certain that evaluate well, and logic plus five, don't minus help. 10, so minus five altogether. Can I use intelligence oh, to determine uh, probably it's going to be it. dangerous? Sorry. <sighs> Shall I try and perceive? I missed by one. Let's just by get one. on it. We, we already established that okay. we fail at everything we try. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to retcon it. Uh, almost everyone here is armed with like a knife or something or other just for self-defense. And you notice one guy in a booth on the other side of the bar, he's clearly packing a weapon in plain sight. Can I see if anyone's twitchy? Um, It's a hive world, everyone is twitchy. Oh yeah, true, but so. <laughs> if anyone's twitchy, honest, we... right. Almost everyone here is on drugs or something. Is anybody getting ready to attack, though? I, I doubt that. They're too high. Never know, it could be like Flash and Andromeda. Oh, come on. <laughs> Better not be like Flash. <laughs> Flash! Oh, ah! Uh, Savior right. of the universe! You guys are in this bar. It's filled with uh, workers and clientele. What do you do? The obvious thing when you're in a tavern talk to the barkeep! <laughs> And order a drink. I wouldn't drink anything they have here if I were you. No, I really I wouldn't. I was going to drink it. Just order it. Go ahead. That's your money. Go ahead what and roll a fellowship test. This I shall do. This I shall succeed. Uh, woo. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll still go, ahead and us. Uh, go ahead and make a perception test, Tiberianus. This I shall likely fail. This I have failed. Anyone else want to make a perception test? Oh, I'll, I'll, try. One. I'll try one as well. Failed. Yeah. I'll make Ooh. one for Mercutio. Didn't he fall down and break his neck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Breaking his neck has improved his power. Breaking his neck has somehow made him more perceptive. It's that new angle of his head. Like at 90 degrees, <laughs> <laughs> the rest of his body. It's this sense is much more acute. <laughs> uh, Anyways, you ask this question, and the bartender just nervously looks uh, looks around, his eyes constantly flittering to one side of the bar. Mercutio notices that he keeps looking over at the man in the corner that is clearly armed. And he pretty much says to Tiberianus, uh, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. No blasters! Not... We don't want any trouble! Hmm? That's, essentially the, that's essentially it. There ain't no blasters loud in here. No trouble wanted. That's, that's, that's essentially just Yeah, okay. He's a, we don't the dodgy ask guy who hopefully will attack us and we can vent our frustrations at bad rolling at him. <laughs> we don't ask questions. <laughs> what? About venting frustrations. <laughs> We're probably not going to be able to hit him. At point blank range. And we're probably going to get the whole bar after us. We're probably going to end up getting the whole bar after us, though. First. Yeah, that's why we have to. He has to attack us first. Then our then our uh, friendly neighborhood psycho will show up, kill everyone except us by accident. <laughs> we'll all move outside the building as soon as he attempts to. <laughs> oh, shall we approach this guy with the big gun? Um, before you guys do that, everyone go ahead and make a perception test, as well as uh, with awareness, mind you. As okay. well as an intelligence oh, yeah. test. Okay, that I first one's that. a perception, okay? Okay. That's intelligence. I, yeah. I failed. Both. I failed the this is good. intelligence, but I get the perception. You notice by looking around. You notice by looking around that there seems to be a quite a heavy amount of pills, needles, and such 
Who knows what they're used for? Let's try not to step on any, shall we? <laughs> Can uh, we actually? I'll just say. Let Can me, we pick uh, one up and... Mercutio's. Well, he passes an intelligence chest. Can I pick up one of the pills and show him it? See it, but if he could, he knows what it is. Can I pick it up and show him it? He's probably done it before. <laughs> he did break his neck and survive. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, was... he didn't break his neck. Anyways, do any of you have a medic skill? Nobody has medicai. That's why I'm saving all of my experience. You can't <laughs> okay. get medicai until like the second oh, rank. Oh. For me and everyone else, about the fifth rank. Mercutio basically casually mutters under his breath. It's like, that's ah, a freaking drug den in here. Can I, I ask him if he knows anything about what the drugs could be? Uh, well, he's going to make an ink test, and it's going to be at a severe penalty. Oh. Mm -hmm. He. Has an aneurysm. It's a pill! <laughs> <laughs> it's a donkey! It's candy! <laughs> he immediately eats some. <laughs> Collapses in the floor. Uh, he should... With that roll, he probably does think it's candy, and he eats one. <laughs> it was on the ground. Let's see if he resists temptation. He resists <laughs> temptation. Okay. He barely resists temptation from the look of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys said you wanted to approach the uh, guy in the booth? Yeah, hopefully he's the drug dealer. We yeah. can kill him and end the entire plight of this world. Uh, I suppose. You notice... Who we said to uh, 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 thing. Anyways, you notice the man in the corner, and he's like, basically like, uh, what do you fuckers want? This sounds like a swell time to attempt to change his, uh, his <laughs> opinion, opinion, of us. opinion of us. Go, Charles, go! Ha ha! Oh, wow. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> you failed to charm him, but luckily, Tiberianus rolls a two on, his att on her attempt to, uh, use her feminine wiles to make what him more likely to like up us. your shirt? Oh, Peony, can I just say that Cynthia is standing near enough so that he she can still... for a reason. <laughs> oh, Peony. Yes? Can I say that Cynthia is standing in such a way that she can still see the door? Scythia, not Cynthia. Sin yeah, it's not honor, Scythia. Call. How do you keep can say his name. pronouncing your own character's name? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. How did you charm him, Tiberianus? I have ways. Pulled his breast, so... What did you say to charm him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. I thought I was going to fail horribly. <laughs> well, this better be good, because it really worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just showed him a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> it would work. Hi there. We have a problem, and we're wondering if you could help us with it. <laughs> You sure you didn't just wander um, over and go, upon... hey, big boy? <laughs> upon laying eyes upon Tiberianus, you see the man, his, his eyebrows raise, and he seems to lick his lips a little. <laughs> he likes what he sees. <laughs> Everyone likes what they see of the Tiber. Uh, for Tiberianus, you now have plus 20 against uh, fellowship rolls against this guy. Excellent. Excellent. Now when I fail, it will be even more hilarious. <laughs> so he asks you, so, uh, what can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to track down an old friend of mine. We lost contact many years back. Um, a man by the name of Saul Arbis. Uh, I was told that I could find him somewhere around here. Perhaps you could point him out to me? Um, <laughs> he looks around. Not mind making a fellowship test. Sorry. <laughs> He charmed him, now you have to fill it. That'll pass. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, Saul, I know him. He used to talk to Lance a lot, I think. Um, if, if you want more information about Saul, you should go talk to the boss upstairs. Oh my. The boss, you say? 
Well, yeah, and he like just simply nods. And I can talk to. He simply nods. Mm. Which way? He uh, points towards the back, just by, uh, just to the side of the bar. Ah, uh, this shall be a thank you very much, followed by a wink. Why don't you schedule yeah, a meeting with the that. boss? I try to wink, but my mechanical arm pinches my ass. You, you have a twitch in your eye. <laughs> and it may... Can I... It makes you look intoxicated more than anything else. Can I su uh, go to wink, you uh, Hurry, everybody up the back, up the back. Can I suggest that we actually try and arrange an appointment? But you end up sneezing on a man. You gotta stop crying. I'm tears right. Uh, and as as we're going towards go. this, um, everyone just go. No discussion. At, no. Up there. <laughs> as we're heading towards the stairs, can I just take a? Quick look out to see if anyone has sort of reacted to us moving towards the back. Yeah. Oh, uh, no one seems to care. It's like it's a common occurrence. Apparently, attractive tech priests okay. frequent this area. It's supposed to be cold. You can tell I'm devious. On we go, I guess. That must be it. The air is cold. That's why it was a two. Okay. You go upstairs, and there's a single door up here. You're get, uh, judging by the structure of the building, it's clear that this door leads into a room above the bar. Really? Do you want to enter the room? Let's knock first. Can I see if there's anything like written on the door? That's well, there's nothing. Written. There's nothing written on the door. I'll tell you that now. I wonder if the door is yeah. fireproof. And the door is made of wood. Doors made of wood. Excellent! We can smash it using the head of our neck-broken comrade. <laughs> you notice that? 